Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. This week, we take a trip to Columbia, Missouri. Well, it's just a few weeks ago where the NWCA announced one of the matchups that will take place at the All-Star Classic. One half of that matchup is joining me now, 149-pound star LaVon Mays of the University of Missouri. Welcome to the Nike Hot Seat today. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Well, congratulations on being invited. You put in some real good work last year on and off the mat, as, uh, as Brian Smith has told me. But the 51st annual uh, edition of this uh, All-Star Classic is coming up, and you're in it, man. You get to face Anthony Kalika or Kalika of Oklahoma State. What are your thoughts initially? Um, I mean, this is going to be the seventh time we've wrestled. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's just about like any other year, I guess. Is there a certain kind of a, a special pride that goes into knowing that you were invited to be a part of this this uh, masterful event? Um, you know, it, it's really nice, uh, you know, to, to get the invitation. And, uh, I mean, it, to, to me, you know, I feel like I, I deserve it. And uh, But, I mean, that's just my mindset is that, you know, in my, in my mind, I'm really good. So I should wrestle in it every year. But... Uh, we know that's not the case, um, but you know it, it's it's nice to go uh, have have a weekend uh, just to go compete and uh, you know I'm, I'm still wearing Mizzou, but uh, you know that's a weekend I get to represent myself as well. I like that. I like that a lot. And you know what? I I gotta believe there's family that are going to be following you either on the live broadcast on on uh, uh, online or of course there in person. I think you'd probably rather have them there in person, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I believe my parents are, are coming up. Uh, they're, they're over in the St. Louis area on the Illinois side, so it shouldn't be too long of a trip for them to make it up there. Well, they described you guys, both you and your opponent, as two fantastic wrestlers from two incredible programs. You are the very embodiment of what Brian Smith calls Tiger Style. Can you tell me what Tiger Style means to you? Uh, to me, Tiger Style... Um, especially um after the summer and uh you know with a uh, um uh my schoolwork and everything it's it's about um a, a system of living to where you want to compete and do your best in all aspects of your life and uh when, whenever i first came into college uh i i had the idea that um you know i wasn't going to be like the best wrestler uh not necessarily uh, I was sitting behind Drake Howdeshell, and then uh, I, I was focusing on school, and then I got an opportunity to be in the lineup uh, that second year of me being here, and then all I did was focus on wrestling, and then I didn't focus that much on school. So, um, you know, it's kind of evolved into me wanting to be good at my academics as well as my athletics and my social life and uh, how I treat my girlfriend and, and all those aspects. Let's talk a little bit about your uh, history with Kalika. It was him. It was Kalika who bounced you from the champions, championship side of the bracket in New York City, but it was tight, 3-2. What will you do differently this time? Um, to, to be honest, uh, in that match, I got to his legs more times than he got to mine. Um, I scored the only offensive points during the match with a reversal. Um, you know, there's there's not much that I really have to change up. Uh, uh, the the uh, the the refing in that match, I, I kind of like blamed to like the loss to to an extent. And um, you know, it, it could be good refing, it could be bad refing, but uh, I'm just gonna go out there and just wrestle how I'm, how I'm good at wrestling. And uh, you know, if if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. But I'm gonna leave it all out on the mat. I mean, we go back to that championship match uh, in New York City where he won 3-2 in the quarters, but you came back and beat him 3-2 for taking third place. Uh, that's one of the things I look at and, and how you instantly respond, and it's that kind of uh, focused work that really proves out uh, that you can be a champion. Uh, that was, by the way, well, let's go back even further. I think when you guys were... Uh, freshman, you both weighed in at 141, and now you're at 57, right? 49. 49. Okay. Could you go 57? Could I? Yeah. Would I be successful? 
I think so. Um, right now for the team, uh, it makes more sense for me to be at 49. Uh, Manley, Matt Manley made an amazing uh, year last year at 41. And uh, Joey Lavalle has been really consistent at 57. So, um, you know, I, I feel like I slot in really well at 49. And uh, even though I, I know I can be successful at 41, 49, 57, and maybe even 65, uh, it, it doesn't matter because the team needs me where I'm at right now. So uh, I accept it. <laughs> you know, last season, 32 and 3, that was your record. And I got to believe that uh, you want to improve on that. And most. <laughs> Most assuredly, you will. You're one of those guys that just knows what hard work means. And and you know how to employ what Coach Brian Smith and the balance of the staff there uh, are expecting from you and what they teach. Uh, Brian Smith calls you his most consistent and successful of the wrestlers. Uh, that's quite an honor to hear that Brian Smith uh, thinks so highly of you. You were one of those guys out there that wasn't highly recruited, but Brian Smith is perhaps your biggest fan. What does that uh, What does that mean to you? Um, me, me, and Brian, uh, Coach Smith, we 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 get into it uh, quite a bit. Um, so, I mean, he, I, I, I know that he uh, knows that uh, I'm working to be, to be a national champion, and uh, I know that uh, you know. Well, whether sometimes I, I show it or not, that uh, he that he's gonna do the best things for me to get there, and uh, you know, it, even though we don't may not say it to each other much, like it's it, it's like a father son relationship. Um, we 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 kind of know that we're in it together, and uh, what's good for me is good for him, and what's good for him is good for me. So uh, that's 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 kind of how I feel about my relationship with uh, Coach Smith. So. We're talking with LeVon Mays, University of Missouri, the Missouri Tigers, of course. You can follow this event that we're talking about, the 2016 NWCA All-Star Classic presented by the Brewer Garrett Company, and you can look for it online at trackwrestling.com. Of course, you can be there in person. Tickets start at 15 bucks. Go allstarclassic.com for more information. And you can also call the Wolstein Center box office at 844-407-2279. Our guest in the Nike hot seat is LeVon Mays. LeVon, talk, talk to us about growing up in a wrestling culture. When did you start wrestling? Uh, I started wrestling the uh, middle of my seventh grade year uh, in middle school. Um, I didn't make the basketball team that year, and uh, my dad told me that he was like a really good wrestler, but uh, he, he never went to a high school that had wrestling. So um, with not having a sport to do, you know, I, I went out and I was doing great in the practice room, and um, during competitions, I, I would just get like manhandled. Uh, and I, I, I liked the sport. I was winning, just not like out in uh, competition. So uh, I didn't, I didn't do any wrestling that summer. I just came in the next year as an eighth grader, and uh, I just like started like I, I learned how to uh, put my skills out uh, during competition time and. At that time, I went to uh, IKWF uh, sectionals. Um, I lost. I pinned myself, and then uh, at that point, like the wrestling world, kind of like uh, uh, took a hold of me, and uh, I enjoyed it so much. And then by the time I got in high school, um, that was kind of what I wanted to do. I played like two years of football, and I did track for a little bit, but uh, re wrestling was so uh, fun and interesting to me at the time. And uh, even though, like, I, I wasn't, like, too good, like, I didn't know what I was doing well, and I, I wasn't, like, a technician by any means, um, I could still uh, compete and I could still win. And uh, by the time uh, I was a senior um, and I ended up winning the state uh, title that year, um, I kind of told myself I could go Division One, And uh, that's that's kind of where my story uh, started off, uh, I guess, for here in college, I guess. Now, you, you came from Illinois, is that right? Yep. It was, is it Mascuta? Mascuta. Mascuta uh, I like High to call School. It Mascuta sometimes. I, I don't know. I, 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 you can say it however you want to say it. <laughs> Either way, that's where you went to high school. All right. Again, not highly recruited, but you're really proving out that Brian Smith can understand and knows what he's looking for. He saw apparently a bright light that 
perhaps was going unnoticed by others. But uh, you're making Mizzou your home down in Columbia, Missouri. How is campus life, and what what are your uh, goals as far as uh, academics? So, um, let's see. I after I finish out this semester, I'll have seven more credit hours to go, and uh, I'll get uh, um, my bachelor's in electrical engineering, and uh, I'll have a math minor. Um, I'm I'm one class away from getting a physics minor as well, but uh, I'm not I'm not sure if I want to. Uh, add on that stress uh, into the next semester, but um, so- social life is really uh, really good. Um, I have a girlfriend uh, named Jennifer. Uh, she she's really good to me. We've been dating for a little bit over a year now. Um, she 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 keeps me on my toes. She makes sure that uh, I'm not like doing bad things on the weekends <laughs> and uh, making sure that you know whenever I wake up in the morning that uh, I have a smile on my face and. She's really upbeat and optimistic, and you know she she's a good uh, match for me. I like that man. Making sure you start each day with a smile on your face. Yeah. When when a match is over and you have your hand raised, it's got to be a special feeling. But uh, knowing that you've just bested some of the best in the country, and let's face it, that's your ultimate goal is to be the best you can possibly be at your waist uh, at your uh, at your weight, but also at an event like this. Dude, it's the 2016 NWCA All-Star Classic. Who told you about the invitation to wrestle in this event? Uh, Coach Smith, he texted me when I was in the middle of class. And uh, Co- Coach Smith is really, like, short and concise with his text messages, his emails, if you've ever seen them. And uh, the, the text message just read, call me. <laughs> now, you know, I'm, I'm pretty well behaved, but, you know, I, I can get yelled at for, like, a, a variety of things. So I looked at this and I was pretty sure I was in trouble and I was, I was, I was in class. So I don't want to like call him right away or like try to text him right away. But, uh, you know, five minutes later after just looking at it, I texted him. I was like, I'm in class. So I'll call you in a bit. And, uh, whenever I got out, I called him and he was like, all right, you got an invitation to the all-star. And then the first thing that went through my mind was, well, who do you think I'm going to wrestle? And then like, we went through like the list of people and uh, even whenever I first initially accepted it, maybe like three or four weeks ago, um, we, we, we knew that it was probably going to be Kalika. So, um, you know, we, we, we immediately went into, uh, all right, well, this is, this is the first competition now of the season, and this is where we've got to start, and we've got to uh, start working. So you have to lay down the plan, then execute. Well, you've executed this interview masterfully, my friend. I appreciate you taking the Thank time you. to join us. I want to thank Andrew Melrow for helping to facilitate, as always, with a great SID. That's what they do, man. The good ones do. Go allstarclassic.com, where you can look for more information on this event, folks. $15 GA tickets, $100 preferred seating is available, and there are group options available as well. This young man looks to have his hand raised on November 5th at the Wallstein Center in Cleveland State at Cleveland State University. Showcase bouts get underway at 6 o'clock. Main event scheduled to go at 7. It's presented by the Brewer Garrett Company in our Nike hot seat today. Fine young man, LeVon Mays from Missouri. LeVon, thanks for taking the time, and I hope that you have as good a season as uh, the rest of us expect you to have. Thank you so much. For all of us at Takedown, I'm Scott Casper. Thanks for watching.